Hi guys, I'm gonna read a story today and it's called How Do You Know It's Spring by Alan Fowler. How do you know it's spring? When leaves begin to grow on the trees, when the grass turns green again. Here in Florida, we have green grass all year round, but it does get a little dry in the wintertime, get a little brown and yellow, and it looks a little bit more greener in the spring because there's more water, more rain. When the first flowers bloom in your garden or in the park, then you know it's springtime. So when you start seeing flowers everywhere. Last fall, the robins flew south where it's warmer. Well, we're in Florida. We're a warmer location, so sometimes birds fly to us. They spend all winter there, but now it's spring and the robins are back. I see more birds in the springtime. And this is a robin. Birds can tell when it's spring and time to build their nests, lay their eggs and hatch their babies. So here is some birds on a nest that they made. And here is a baby with eggs nearby in a nest. Many baby animals are born in the spring. What animal is that? Peeking out of the tree? Squirrels. Let's count how many babies there are. One, two, three. And then, what animal is that? A deer, a baby fawn. You know it's spring when winter's last snows have melted and filled the rivers and streams with rushing water. So up north, the snow melts when it's springtime and it melts, when snow melts, it becomes water and it fills the rivers and the streams. And here, what tends to happen is like, I have a lake behind my house and right now it's pretty shallow. A lot of the water's evaporated up into the air, into the sky, and there's not as much water inside of the lake right now. And in the springtime, when it starts raining, it will start filling up more. And I looked at the clouds today, and that's the reason I chose this book, is because um, it looks like it's gonna rain today. So I thought maybe this would be a great book to read. Or when you can go outside without a heavy coat and still feel warm, but some days you need an umbrella to stay dry during spring showers. So you might need an umbrella today. And I haven't worn a jacket in a while. Remember there was like lots of days we were at school and we had to put our coats on and do the magic trick to get it on. And this kid, he's playing with a boat. And there she is with a raincoat and an umbrella. You know it's spring when you hear the crack of a bat hitting a baseball, when you and your friends can't wait to ride your bikes. So, ball games are not happening right now, sadly. I can't uh, see my friends at the ballpark right now. Um, but my husband's throwing a baseball to my son most days and catching, they're playing catch but I definitely see lots of kids riding their bikes right now. Can you ride a bike? If not, you want to see if mom and dad can help you practice that. Or put on roller skates or have fun at the playground. So these girls, this is an older book and they're wearing roller skates. Not many people do that anymore, but maybe you have done it. And then the kids here are playing at the playground and sadly we have to pause on that right now. We can't play in our playground together right now. 
but soon we'll be able to play together. You can play with your brothers and sisters if you have any. Spring is the time for farmers to plow their fields so they can plant their crops. It's the time for you to plant seeds if you have a garden. So maybe you can buy some seeds or mom and dad can go um, to like Home Depot and get some seeds and some soil and you could put it in the ground. This is the time to do that and you will see what happens when the seeds get water, sunshine and dirt, they start to grow. So that would be a fun thing to do while we're away. If you do grow some plants, please, please take a picture and show me. I'd love to see what you're growing. Easter and Passover come in the spring. Easter's coming up. And here is some Jewish families celebrating Passover. And here's a little girl with an Easter basket. She's celebrating Easter. Easter might be a little different this year, but we still can think about Jesus and his love for us. And that's what we remember on Easter. Mother's Day and Memorial Day come in the spring. So Mother's Day is coming up in May and it's in the springtime. There's a mom. And Memorial Day, when we remember all the soldiers. Most adults don't get a spring vacation, but you do. Are you kind of on a vacation right now? So why not go outside and play? It's spring. And these kids have a little swing set in their backyard and they're playing on it. Uh, David showed me he has one and that's pretty cool. And here's some spring words. Let's see. Leaves, eggs in a nest, robin, grass. Let's see what's over here. Spring showers. Oh, I'm trying to read it backwards. Farmer plowing field. Grass seed growing. Flowers. These are actually Miss Ken's favorite flower, I think, because she kept talking about them the other day. Daffodils. We don't see many daffodils here in Florida because I think they need a little bit cooler weather to grow in. They're very pretty yellow. And, but we could maybe grow them inside. Sometimes public sells some nice daffodils that we can put in a vase at home. So I hope you like the story.